What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are heading towards the end of season 2 with round 19 and the Austin Grand Prix in Texas. Hopefully a better result than we had in Qatar but who knows we put a new engine on the back of Bottas' car. Esteban's unfortunately dealing with the same old components but we'll just have to make the best of what we can out of them and see what we can get out of the cars really. So yeah let's head straight into practice and get ready for the sprint. So we've got through the first couple of sessions of qualifying for the sprint race and Valtteri was just knocked out and couldn't quite squeeze himself in to Q3. Um, but again, he finished in 11th. What we've done is we took a bit of a gamble. We've put the new engine on and we put a new ERS on as well for him. So we are about 700 grand in the in the red now. Um, so, But by the end of the race, essentially it'll be back up to where we need it to be. It'll be in the positive uh, in the positive situation. It just means that Ocon's not going to have any fresh engine components for a few races. Like, we're not going to be able to put anything on his car in terms of a new engine, new ERS, no no nothing, basically. It's all going to have to go in Valtteri's car if we're going to make any upgrades. So, yeah. Going to be interesting to see how we go because the sprint race is in a heavy rain. Um, so, we'll have to see how that looks. Um, and again, Esteban was down in down in the bottom three so pretty much bang on the same time with Joe so don't know if Joe's having some issues with his car or what's going on there but yeah we've got to try and make up some points um, and see if we can make up some places early on in the sprint with Valtteri's newer components so we are starting out dry in the sprint race but it is going to rain as we go in so we are starting on the softs as is everybody else um, and we'll see how far we get into the race before the rain comes and again, but I'm starting 11th in the sprint, but obviously we'll take the grid penalties going into the full race. And we'll see how that goes. But yeah, hopefully Valtteri can make up some positions. Ocon's engine is on 49%, so is now worn out. Um, so yeah, don't really expect much from Ocon this weekend. If he can get up himself into the top 15, I think that's an excellent result for him. For Valtteri, with him having new ERS and a new engine... Hopefully, that means we can be in and around that top 10 position come the end of the full race. But yeah, good start from Valtteri, heading up into ninth at the end of the first lap of the sprint. So yeah, let's see if we can keep pushing and see if we can catch up with some of these guys ahead. So we're coming up now at the back of Gasly. ERS deployed, tyres scorching hot. And DRS open and we managed to make the pass and get ourselves up into eighth. But Gasly comes straight back. And it's going to be a battle, I think, between us and the Alpines and, well, the Alpine and Albon and Hamilton all chasing as well. So, going to be interesting to see if we can hold this position or if we're going to start dropping back sooner rather than later. So, we've got rain coming in the next three minutes or so. And again, it's a case of how quickly does that rain come because it's supposed to be drizzling in the next few laps. But then if we can limp the, if we can get essentially these soft tyres through to that rain point and stay in eighth, I think we've had a really good first in from Valtteri. So you can see now we're about 15 laps to go. The clouds are the clouds are coming through. The rain's just started. We're in DRS territory. We'll have to see how quickly the rain comes down and see how far we can push it. Because I think if we're going to keep 8th, we need to keep pushing as much as we can before the rain fully sets in and dampens up the track. But again, Ocon doing really well to be in a fight with some of these guys above him. And Bottas in 8th with the new engine components is really pushing this car and driving the wheels off it, really. And just as we say that, Gasly gets in front, which is really unfortunate. And Hamilton and Albon are only just behind him. And then there's Sonoda. So, again, is there any way back for Valtteri to try and get in front of these guys again? As we head into DRS territory. And again, if we could just hang on to the back of Gasly, it'll give us hope. And again, we've just got to keep pushing the tyre as far as we can into this race before we come on to intermediates and hope we have a good pit stop. Because we know pit stops have been a bit of an issue in the past few episodes. So, yeah, we need to try and uh, facilitate that as much as we can, really. And there's a yellow flagged, and it's Ocon... And he's done damage to the car as well. No, that's just the engine. What's he done? He's locked up on turn 12. Now we're watching Esteban Ocon here. Well, things are okay at this stage. So he's chasing down the Haas. Oh, and he narrowly avoids the Haas as well. So he's going to drop down. And his tyres may well be done. 
They are cooked officially. But thankfully for us, we're still sticking around with the soft tyre wearers in front of us. We might drop off a bit though, because we are on 58%. So the rain's coming, the heavy rain's now coming in the next four minutes. So a couple more laps and we should be in the territory to uh, make a pit stop and go on to those intermediates. We're currently trying to hold off Hamilton. Um, but he's got the DRS there, and you can see Albon's on the back of us as well. So time's just starting to... The position's starting to slip away a little bit now that we've got into nine laps territory. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do um, when we get to the intermediates because, again, if we've got sort of a 9th, 10th, 11th position, I think that's a really good result and hopefully a, a marker of things to come for when we get to the uh, full race. But, yeah, a couple more minutes and that heavy rain's coming. And we're coming in for the pit stop a little bit earlier to hopefully jump the queue a little bit. And when that heavy rain comes in, being on the intermediates already hopefully makes up some time for us. And why are we taking so long? Six seconds for a pit stop, guys. Come on. Why have we made another mistake in the pit stops? This is getting ridiculous. We've managed the pit stops pretty well, I thought. Oh, that's ridiculous. And now we're going to be like... We're probably not even going to be fighting anywhere near top 10 because of that. Another 6.4 stop there for Ocon. Are we joking here, guys? Like, what are we doing? So everyone's coming into the pits now. And we're probably missing out on a bunch of positions here. The only thing is, if there's double stacks, we might get a couple of positions. But everyone's coming in and out now. Let's see where we end up. As we come down the pit lane now... We jump up. Top four. Well, there we go. Somehow it's worked out. Ocon's a bit further behind, unfortunately. So, again, got to try and massage him through this race. But a top three on the cards, maybe, if we can get in front of Albon early on. Heated up tyres. He's on the wets, though. Ooh, that might be a problem. Ooh, we're on intermediates and everyone's on wets. And it's going to be pretty heavy rain. It's telling me now. It was saying light rain at the end, end towards the race. So is that going to be a problem? We'll sharp find out. Going to try and make the most of this position while we've got it, I guess. So this is the position we find ourselves in. We've got seven laps to go. The rain's still coming down pretty heavily. But it is going to lighten up in a few minutes. So I'm just hoping that if it stays in around, if it stays around four millimeters, we should be okay. But it doesn't look like it's going to do that. So, what I'm thinking is, if we can try and get as big a gap as possible to Perez and Albon, then we should be in a good position and try and hold on to that top ten position because there is a bit of a, a spread now of that top ten. So we might be able to just hold on. But again, it's going to be reliant on the rain easing up and it and it sort of staying relatively light and not continuing to jump up. It's only slightly creeping up now it's not jumping up like it was before but yeah we've got six laps to go to try and manage this and if we can if we can somehow manage this we'll get some points out of this but it's unlikely so as you can see strolls pulled away from us now he's about five and a half seconds up the road the rain's still coming down but it's not coming down as heavy um and again just trying to see but ask through this intermediate section um he's got five laps to go to try and hold on here Ocon's starting to drop down through the pack. Do we have enough time to hold on to this and hopefully stay in touch with these wet tyre users? There's about four or five seconds between us and eighth. And if we can hold on to this, there might be points, but it's not easing up. It's going to get heavier, if anything. So we may be out of luck, unfortunately. Yeah, we're sinking like a stone now. We're in seventh. We've got three laps to go. And we're probably going to be dropping down to probably about... We might be bottom two by the end of this. Because, again, the rain's not easing up. It's getting heavier. I'm probably going to have to pit the boys. Yeah, just a shame that it was the heavy rain. Because, again, the telemetry said it was going to be lighter. And it's just not proven to be the case. So, again, unless it starts drying up, we're going to be sinking like a stone here. But there's no point bringing him in. Because it's... I'm not pushing him too hard. Um... Because, again, I want to try and preserve everything on, in the car, like the gearbox, the engine, the ERS. Same with Ocon, not really doing anything with him. He's 20th now. So, 
yeah, from a really promising position of being top three. There's been a crash, though. If that could give us a virtual safety car. Who was it involving, though? Gasly in 12th. You can see everyone's just bunched up behind us. And it's Hamilton, I think, and Gasly crashing together. Oh, no safety car. Could have done it. If we got a safety car there, we would have been able to hold on, but it's not going to happen, unfortunately. It's going to be three more laps of pain and sinking down the, the pack, and we'll see how it plays out. So we're into final lap territory, and somehow Bottas has managed to hold on to 12th. He's probably going to be 13th and 14th by the end of it, but we've managed to get there um, and hold on to a decent position. Obviously, we're going to get grid penalties for the full race. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's just a shame it, the heavier ring came really because it could have been a good good haul of points there. But it's a positive, I think, with the pace we've had uh, in the early stages until the pit stop really foiled us. Um, so yeah, if we can if we can show good pace like we have done early on in that race, then I think we might be in a fight for points. So here we go then, full race start. Stroll starting in first, Perez in second. The two William cars really high up the grid. So again, showing their uh, great start to the season. And yeah, we're hoping Valtteri can make some passes early on. We're going for a medium hard, medium strategy. I don't think we can do a one stop. I just think the tire wear is so high that there's no way we're going to be able to, to do anything like that. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping that Valtteri can get onto the back of these cars early, make some early overtakes and start moving through the grid. As we make an early overtake there on Ricardo. Heading into the last corner, Alonso's next up the road, and then it's our teammate who's chasing down Leclerc. And again, nice early overtake from Valtteri, and hopefully he's sticking in this DRS so we can make some moves uh, by the time we get into the next couple of laps when DRS opens up. And Alonso's gone wide there, and that opened up a bit of an opportunity for Valtteri, but didn't quite able to make it. And again, Ocon not really getting anywhere near Leclerc here. And might be in for a rough race for him. But again, don't want him fighting his teammate. But his teammate's got to get past Fernando first. With Fernando on the softs, it's just a case of how quickly do the softs run away. I mean, they're already on 81% on Fernando's car. So, again, just got to bide their time a little bit, not push the car too hard. We're not pitting for another 15 laps. So, we just got to see it through as the DRS opens up now. With ERS heading into this corner side by side with Fernando. You can see Ocon now fighting with Magnussen just up, just ahead of us. And now he's going to be chasing down his teammate and see what we can do from here. You can see the Haas has dropped Ocon now. And again, I'm hoping that Bottas can make just an easy overtake here on this next sort of straight with the DRS open. So we don't have to tell Ocon to get out the way. And he does. He makes that fairly easily. We go into the corner, and now we've got to get after Magnussen and try and chase up the rest of this pack now. So, within the next couple of laps, using ERS and being a bit more aggressive on the strategy with the tyre, we've managed to get value within DRS territory of K-Mag, who himself isn't that far away now from Hulkenberg. So, again, trying to make our way up this grid as quickly as possible. Six laps in, we've made a few places up, and hopefully more to come. Oh, something's happened in front of us with the two Haas guys because Bottas has had to make some hell of a swerve to get out the way there. Let's see what's happened. See the two Haas guys going up to the first corner. And Gunther will be pulling his hair out. Home Grand Prix. And again, hell of a, hell of a uh, reaction time there for Bottas to get out the way. He's now got three seconds to make up on Piastri. And De Vries. So, again, got to try and make the most of this now. Ocon gets in front of Hulkenberg. And he's chasing down Ricardo as well. So, let's see what we can do over the next few laps. And within a couple of laps, we've managed to make up the pace and get up to Piastri and De Vries pretty quickly. Again, these two battling away it probably has helped us draw them back in. But now it's just a case of trying to stay out of trouble with them two squabbling. And then seeing if we can make an overtake on this next DRS straight 
on at least one of the cars, if not both of them. So, And we've got a four and a half second gap over Alonso as well. So another person we thought we'd be battling away with. Um, again, a bit of a contrasting race between the two Aston Martins because you've got Alonso down with us and then you've got Stroll leading the race over Perez at the minute. So, yeah, very strange turn of events. So here we go then, next DRS straight, going on the attack. Piastri sort of stuck behind De Vries here. We might be able to make both of them in one go. We haven't, but we do get in front of Piastri, more importantly. Oh, he's coming back, though. The corner in, probably not helping out Bottas there, but we've made it stick, and now it's after De Vries. Can we make that overtake in this next sort of section when we head into DRS? We've got about six laps or so before the first pit stop comes in. And we get ourselves up into 13. So a good drive. First 11 laps and we've made up seven spots. And now it's chasing down a Ferrari of all things. So Sonoda's dropped down the field a little bit. And now we're closing in on him about 2.7 seconds. Um, Albon's dropped from his podium position down to fifth. So hopefully a few more positions will be getting dropped by some of the quicker races in front behind him. And again, we've got a few laps to go until we over we get in for our first pit stop. We're pitting in lap 18. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely a two-stop race. There's no way you'd be able to do a hard stint till the end of the race after the medium. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. Pushing now a little bit to try and open up that DRS again. Um, and Ocon's now in front of Alonso as well. So a good race for him considering the components he's got in his car. And yeah, we're just trying to close down on Sonoda and Joe as quickly as possible. Second and a half now, the gap. Valtteri's doing what we wanted him to do. So it looks like the gamble on the engine and the gearbox is paying off so far. So right on the back of Sonoda now with DRS heading into turn one. He's squeezing us as much as he can. I wouldn't expect anything less from him. But we've made it stick and we now go top 12. So... Let's keep this going. Three laps to go. We're in the pit window strategy now. And again, we've just got to have a couple of decent pit stops and we should be in a good position here. And we've got that gap between ourselves and De Vries now up to above two and a half seconds. So good racing so far. Excellent racing really so far from Bottas to come from 20th up into 12th. It's just whether or not can we close down the gap now to Joe and, and Co. as well as keeping Sonoda in and around us really. Couple of guys coming in for pits now. Like Sir Norris, Sainz, Shaw, Albon. Goes from soft to mediums. So this medium where where is all coming in now. And we go up into 10th because of that. Ocon up into 12th because of that as well. So again, bit of a buffer to try and block people off if we want to use him. And Sonoda now starting to pull away. So we're going to stop conserving on the fuel. Start pushing a little bit more on the tyre again and use the ERS. And try and get back into that DRS territory. So Verstappen now on the hard tyres. We'll see um, where he comes out. He comes out in 11th. We've dropped up to 8th. So a couple more pit stops happening there as we get in front of Sonoda. And again, getting close to pit territory. Next lap is when we'll be coming in. So again, let's see what we can do. If we can charge down Joe as well, even better. I don't think we will. We might get pretty close, though. Because, again, got a bit of ERS to use, so we're going to try and utilise that as much as we can. And, yeah, hopefully we come out in a decent position when that pit stop happens. And we've made a move on, on Joe. I didn't expect us to get that. And uh, we're going to ignore that suggestion of bringing Ocon in. We're going to push him on the ERS and try and keep him in front of these guys. But, yeah. Great first in as we move up into six. So second scap now over Joe. Who's on the used mediums as well. Couple of guys coming in. Leclerc and Perez coming in for pits as well. As we come in for our first pit stop. Right boys and girls of the pit crew. Please give us a less than three second pit stop. And you have. Well done. Two and a half seconds. Ocon's now going to come through. And he's going to go on the attack to come in for his pit. And he's going on to the hards. And there we go. So where's Valtteri going to come out? He's coming out in 16th. So he's made up a few spots. And now he can get away and start pushing and trying to make up this time on the guys above us. Piastri is going to be coming in soon. Ocon's obviously coming in next lap. 
So yeah, we are going to be on the quicker tyre at the end. It's just whether or not this hard tyre holds on to the medium guys and can make up any time on them. But fingers crossed, we'll be able to. Ocon now comes in for his pit stop. As you can see, Magnussen also in for his. And it's a 2.5 again. And we go down to a second or so gap between Piastri and ourselves. So yeah, early signs of some good pace from Bottas on these hards. And let's see what Ocon, do with them. Ocon can do with them now. Bunch of pit stops happening now. Loads of people coming in. And a few positions to make up for Valtteri as we get in front of Gasly who just comes out behind him. Gasly on the softs however, but again long term strategy being that the softs aren't going to last that long. Let's see what happens with these guys behind us because Alonso's on used mediums, Sonoda's on new softs, Ricardo on used mediums. So yeah, decent position to be in. Heading up the track. Hamilton's got to pit as well, jaw has got to pit. So if we play the cards right and we get the strategy right, we might well be in for points here. Long way to go yet, though. And we pass Shaw to go up into 11th. He's on the mediums. Are we going to have much time over him? Yeah, we're going to have over seven seconds of time on him. So a bit of time to hold on to there, which is good. As we head into the middle part of that 22 in a decent position. So we are going to pass Hamilton to get into the top 10. He's on the mediums, though, so I'd imagine he's going to catch us pretty quickly. He's on 2.6 seconds gap behind Alonso. Um, and then he's going to have Sonoda chasing him down on the softs. But again, Valtteri putting in a really good early stint on these hards. And yeah, we've just got to try and manage this as best we can. And see where we are when we get closer to the sort of the final stint when we get to lap 40 or so. So there's been a big crash, and Alonso in the meantime has made an overtake. Gasly's crashed out on something, though. I don't know what's happened. So he's fighting with Norris. And he skids off. Oh, and Norris gets out the way. Thank goodness that would have been a horrific crash if that had happened. Um, but Gazi now in a real bit of trouble. His tyres must have took some damage. Yeah, he's on 40%. So, again, a bit of luck going our way. Um, and again, just got to keep pushing. Sticking with Alonso is the main objective here. With him being on the mediums. And then if we can get in front of Gazi as quickly as possible. So there isn't that much time between us, Hamilton and Sonoda now. But again, it's going to come back to us because the mediums are going to be catching up to catching up on their way. Alonso's down to 56%. Signs on 60%. Gasly comes in now. Again, just got to try and stick with Alonso for this next stint or so and see what we can do. So DRS now on Alonso and we move up to ninth. Again, Valtteri merely making the most of these hard tyres and starting to push now. And if we can if we can somehow make some time up on these guys above us, we might make and again, it's not not out the realms of possibility. They are on used mediums. So if we can make even just a little bit of time up on them, we might be in a really good position coming in for that second pit stop. Then we're gonna be dropping that down to tenth again because Hamilton's right on the back of our gearbox. You can see the DRS is just going to let him glide by. But again, he's not really the competition. If we can hang on to the back of Hamilton, though, I mean, I don't think we will. But if we can keep relatively close to Hamilton and see if we get a couple of DRS trains or keep a couple of DRS lanes going, I mean, he's away already, though, isn't he? Then we might have been able to make up some time on, uh, on Lando in front of us. But we are just going to be out of DRS. Oh, no, we get DRS on this straight. So at least we've got that to try and get some time on Lando. Um, only about three seconds though between us and Lando so again we have made up some time whilst we've been sticking with Hamilton a little bit so progress can be made a little bit further up the grid I think so we're into that 33 now and as you can see we're starting to cut down that time to Norris without really having to push the tyre so again going to leave it for a little bit longer before we do start to push and try and close that gap down but so far so good and again, 33 laps in, and we are in a real fight for points now. So Russell's now coming in for his pit stop, going from mediums onto hards. And I think that's what the majority of people will be doing. And hopefully, we can make up some time on these guys as Jean now gets by. And thankfully, we didn't have a crash there, because I thought, oh, it was pretty dicey for, for a moment there. But again, if we can stick around with Jean, we might be able 
Oh, he's already opened it up to a second, though. And again, we've got to start pushing now to try and make up the most of this time that we're going to make up on uh, Norris, I think. Because, again, whilst we've been squabbling with Joe, that gap's just expended a little bit. But again, if we can keep going, we might just keep in this fight for points. Fingers crossed we do. The gap between Albon and Norris is up to eight and a half seconds, so that's a pretty big gap right there for us to have to bridge that. Although Albon's on 32% tyres, so... Let's see what we can do here. Now, well, now we start to push. And Albon now comes in for his pit stop. So Albon's changed to... He hasn't changed them yet. But we are going to be going by as he comes in. He goes to mediums again. And we'll get a bit of, bit of time over him as well. He's had a pit stop issue as well. Which is only further good news to our cause. As now we chase down Norris. Who's on his... Last legs, really, as is Joe. And we're going to be pitting in the next three or four laps. So, again, this race will be coming to us. And as long as we get a good second pit stop, we might be able to make up some positions towards the end. And Alonso must be on... Alonso's on 20% medium, so he really is uh, falling away a little bit. As we're getting to... Within two seconds of, of Norris and Joe who come in for their pits now. And we'll see what they go on to as Sainz pulls away. And we move up into seventh. Norris going on to mediums. Joe going on to hards. That's a pretty long stint to do on the mediums. But we'll keep pushing. And see what we can do as we head into the last 20 laps or so. So we're going to come in at the end of the last lap. Or the next lap I should say. Because... Essentially, that stint that we will do on this last stint will be the same amount of laps that we had when we when we came in for the first pit stop. So again, going to get push bot ass. Try and get as much time as we can on the other guys. And if we can get Ocon in front of Joe as well and cause him a bit of a nuisance, even better. So here we go then. Valtteri comes in for his pit stop. And Ocon's going on the attack now to try and get in front of the guys in front of him. Oh, he's lost a bit of contact, actually. 2.5 seconds is the pit stop for Valtteri. Let's see where he comes out now. He's going to be behind Joe. Oh, no, he stays in front of Joe. That's even better for us. And three seconds off Gasly, who is on used medium, so we will be in points territory. And again, it's just about trying to stay in front of these guys and get back in contact with them if we can and see what we can do with this last in. So in DRS territory now, Ocon's coming in for his pit at the same time. Six seconds behind Albon, and we get in front of Gasly. So we are now in the points, and looking to get in front of Albon if we can. There's about, what, is that 13% tyre wear? So hopefully that will come back to us come the end of the race. And yeah, we've got to try and find this time now to try and get in front of Albon and see what we can do as Gaz is coming back now with DRS but we should stay in front of him and yeah 15 laps to go lots to play for we've opened up the gap to Gasly to about 1.8 seconds now that we're pushing and Hamilton's just come in for his last pit stop of the race and he's on softs now um, so we're about five seconds behind him. Again, it's whether or not we can close the gap to Norris and Albon in front of us. Um, and despite Albon's pit stop issue, he's having a pretty good race, really. 13 laps to go. And yeah, we'll have to see if we can make up some time. There's 14% tyre degradation between us and, and Albon. About 10% more on, on a, between ourselves and Norris, whether we make up... With that amount of tyre deg, I don't know. But, again, we've just got to try and keep pushing the tyre in spits and spots and see if we make up some time. So Hamilton now is on the back of, of Lando and Albon. And hopefully them mixing it up will help us cut that time down a little bit and get us back into a race with the Williams and, and McLaren driver. And, again, Hamilton not really making up the pace like you would think he would. Um, which, again... Gives us a chance of maybe getting to the mix with him by the end of the race. And the gap's down to about five seconds now. And again, just managing these tyres quite well. And hopefully that all hold is in good stead. But again, the longer the gap stays the way it is, the better for us. Because 
we can cut down even further from those gaps and use this long straight to try and utilize ERS and, and bring them in as Hamilton now getting in front of Albon um, and again cutting that time down with that that overtake to about 4.3 between ourselves and Albon so yeah 10 laps to go and again like I said before there's certainly lots to play for here so the gap is now down to about two seconds between us and Albon we've got about seven laps to go Albon's tyres are on 50%, we're on 63, Norris is preserving his a little bit more now. So again, it's a case of, it's going to come down to the last few laps, I think, if we're going to make up a couple more points places. Alonso's favour adrift on about 9 seconds gap to us, he's on 52% tyres, so unless Shaw makes a charge at the end, um, we should be in a fairly good position, as now we've made up a load of time on these guys. And we're second and a half behind them, so let's get ready for the final push of the race. And we've got ourselves into DRS territory now, heading into lap 50. And we are now on the back of these two. And again, we're cooling the tyres back down because we don't need to push when we're so close to them. And again, just going to not go on recharge just yet for the ERS, but go on top up. And Ocon, you know it is as well. I'm, I'm paying all the attention at this race to Bottas, but Ocon is doing phenomenally well with the engine he's got right now to be in 14th. So props to him for keeping himself in this race um, and keeping other guys around him honest. You can see these two are just squabbling in front of us. Five laps to go. And I'm amazed with the amount of squabbling they've been doing. There hasn't been any crashes. I'm, I'm, I am truly amazed at that, but We'll see what comes now. We've got the DRS straight coming with ERS activated. Can we make a move? We're going to certainly going to try. We're going to be jammed in behind Norris, though. And we're going to be following Albon as we go on the inside of the corner. Back around the outside. And Albon just holds on to it for now. But we go back in the inside, get the elbows out, and we make the overtake and go into the top eight. So now the question is, can we push on and open up this DRS gap or open up a gap for DRS? We should be able to with Albon being on 41%. But then after that, it's a question of can we hold on to it? So yeah, top eight position. And it's been a valid one. We haven't had any luck. We haven't had any safety cars or anything like that. It's all been earned. So yeah, just got to try and keep pushing and keep this gap open now as wide as possible. So Lando's now coming back at us after preserving his tyres. And again, we're going on full attack to try and keep Lando in front of us. There's a couple of laps left. And again, didn't particularly want to be squabbling away with Lando at this point, but he has got in front of Albon, which has done us a favour, because that'll cut down Williams' points total to only a point this race. But again, is Lando going to have enough in the tyre to get past us and we're going to have enough tyre to hold him off? That's the question. Let's hope the answer is no for Lando. You can see Russell's just a little bit further ahead. Two seconds the time between us and George. I don't think there's enough life in the tyre, though, to get us in front of him, as well as hold off Lando. Last lap has started. So again, going to go into harvest and look to get as close as we can to George and bring him into the race if we can. Let's go on the attack for a final lap, see if we can get top seven. It's unlikely, but we'll give it a go. It might be just a little bit too far back, I think, to get the DRS. But we've opened that gap to about two seconds to us and Lando. And again, doing really well here. But has to have come from all the way back of the pack. Imagine what it would have been if he'd started in like 11th for something. We might have had an even better race. But it wasn't to be, unfortunately. And now, the boys are... Uh, Bringing it home on the back of Russell's car. I don't think there's going to be time for a move, though. There's no more overtake, unfortunately. Still going on the attack, though. Can we find something in the last corner? No, it's just going to be out of our reach. And again, we finish a few tenths behind top seven. But what a race that is from Valtteri. And again, an excellent race from Ocon as well, despite having really worn out components 
So we make up three points on Williams this race, which again cuts it down to about seven points, I think, with about four races to go, I think, if I've got it right. Um, but Leclerc and Sainz getting a 1-2 for Ferrari, Red Bull with 4th and 5th, and then Mercedes in 6th and 7th, and then we get top 8 after that excellent drive from Valtteri. Again, I think it's too far for Ferrari to bridge that gap, but it's an excellent result for them nevertheless. No top 10 pit stops for us. Again, our pit stop times have really fallen off a cliff, so we're going to have to have a look into that and see what we can do to try and sort that out. But again, for the grid position we are going to be probably top six by the end of the year so again good result overall for us and we get an extra 2.6 in there and we lose obviously 2.5 million so yeah our bank balance might not be looking great and the other thing that i forgot about from last episode is that we put the board attendance in for this grand prix and we finished eighth so that's increased the confidence from the leadership. So, again, helping us keep our job, hopefully, for another season. In an eighth position here, when I don't think we're going to get overtaken by Haas. Their pace really hasn't been there. It's just whether or not we can get a, a big shock result out of Valtteri, probably, now, before the end of the year. Um, and, yeah, we're going to have to start the research pretty soon as well for the car for next year as well, um, which I think we we'll, should be able to do. Because, um, again, that research finishes for the side pods for next year, just after the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, which will be in a couple of episodes' time. So, yeah, we head to Mexico for the next round. Hopefully, we can make up some more points. Um, and with a fairly fresh engine and a new underfloor on Valtteri's car, helping with the low-speed corners in particular, it should help us going into that race. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. And fingers crossed we have a good result. As always, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.